Good morning, everybody. I just thought of another story and wanted to share. So I had a really fun adventure um, going to a amazing log cabin house in um, in the Upper Peninsula on Lake Michigan, and uh, I like meeting people all over and going to visit their area and going to that place that's the special land about it or something about it. I've been like really getting into um, more and more going to sacred land, land where the native people or the indigenous people or the traveling people, uh, the ancients, um, the ancestors, the brothers and sisters, um, where they lived and um, because it's such special land. There's such great energy there, and there's there's lots of interesting uh, things that go on. Um, you know, unique, paranormal, spiritual, mystical things like that. And I just love that kind of stuff. It's my thing. I've had so many experiences like that in my life, and so it's fun to connect with good energy. Um, that's what I want people to understand. I'm talking about high energy. I'm talking about good energy. I'm talking about energy that vibrates at a faster rate, which means it's higher. It's, it's super good energy. And it, when you're in super good energy, it makes you feel good. And, um, you know, so, you know, good in all ways. It's good for you. <laughs> so just wanted to make sure that people understand that what I'm talking about, like if there's anybody out there that wants to kind of put a, some type of religious spin on it or, or, or that they're not quite understanding yet um, about what I'm talking about, about energy or um, vibration or, you know, anything like that, that's, I'm just, that's just sharing that, you know, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm in um, a couple different Facebook groups and um, I follow some teachings that are basically teaching about being um, the best person that you can be in the world and just kind of going about life being like that. And so it's, a, it's, they're, it's the teachings are just super great and I totally resonate with what they're talking about and I, and I love listening. And through that, these teachings, these books, um, there was a Facebook book group um, is going and so you know you meet lots of really neat people all over the world having similar experiences and really loving the teachings and liking to share and all that and so I connected with a guy that he actually lives in Chicago and has this um, he went to go um, visit his this vacation house he has and so he was sharing pictures and I just they were pointed from the bank of the Lake Michigan out and I just you know love lakes I'm a, I'm a lake girl I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a mountain lake girl too you know I mean that's what I grew up doing is going to mountain lakes um, and the ocean so I had both so that was pretty killer um, so um, somehow you know I said wow those are great pictures etc and then he showed me and, and then there was also some pictures of his this amazing cabin like from the, the back view and you know all of that and through us talking and me sharing you know my love of um, connecting with the native spirits and you know you know that kind of thing um, he mentioned that around where he lives there that his house is up there is um, sacred land and there's a book about it and uh, in that area and just he felt like I would have some great experiences there that he never has but he thought that I probably would so you know um, I love traveling to go to different places and um, I love meeting people that have that interest too so I had this really fun day or fun fun few days of getting to the um, to his place and um, my experiences and I ended up getting to do um, a flight a ro and a road trip to get to his place which also is so fun to me I love road trips because then you get to see like the place uh, the, the a place you've never been from 
the local perspective and you're driving through these the, the scenery that's so cool and just you kind of get to be like I'm in Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Wow. Wow. That is so cool. <laughs> so, so we were driving. So, okay. So I ended up having to, you know, I was going to go from Atlanta to a more, you know, whatever airport that was close to him, but it was on a Friday. And so it was just, you know, looking that it was getting to going to maybe be challenging for me to even get a flight because I fly standby. Um, get a flight out so he suggested which is so cool I love people that can think outside the box and like think of other options he said why don't you fly into um, somewhere like you know Wisconsin and then I'll drive up and pick you up and then you can drive with me the rest of the way and I thought oh my god that sounds fun so I was totally able to get onto that flight flew into this small airport in Wisconsin I think it was called Appleton and I got to have a really fun road trip through Wisconsin and all the way up there. And so, you know, we're talking and have a great time. And it was really fun, you know. You know, it's neat when you can just meet somebody like, like this and then just immediately act like you've been friends forever. I love, I love being with people like that. Um, okay, so we're driving, driving. It's like a three-hour drive or something. Well, long story short, we're getting up into the... Now we're up in the trees and it's dark. And, of course... If you know that, you know, you'll know that, that that means it's deer territory and, you know, definitely ha deer have a chance of just running out in the middle of the road. So you just, you know, you're watching, you're constantly scanning back and forth and back and forth and just keeping your eyes open and looking around. Well, <laughs> all of a sudden, okay, I'm going to say it, it turned out like the most, po uh, the most best scenario I think that it could have been is what happened with this situation. I look up, and, and luckily he did too, at this exact moment, where all of a sudden, it was like, split second, there was literally like a deer, literally like in front of his, almost literally in the middle front of the car, uh, ahead in the, on the road, like super right there. And, um, and then right when we saw that, then there was another deer that was a little bit behind and in front of that deer. And so the perfect reactions and exactly the position, and we're going like, I think he was going like at least 50, 55 miles per hour or some, somewhere in there, that his, the moment that he reacted and put the brakes on, and then, and it sort of also that the way that that front deer hit the corner front of his the driver's side, it sort of veered off and sort of slowed us down a little bit or something. That whole thing happened so quick and I just feel like, wow, that was, you know, as I look back on, you know, my, the whole experience and me studying about symbolism and, you know, shamanism and, and spirit animals and all these, all this realm of, of conversation that is maybe different, um, to some people. Um, but, um, so, so we, we, he pulled over and it was like in this, another split second where I, I said, don't stop, you know, like keep going type thing. Don't get out. You know, like, like I felt like he was wanting to go check on the deer or something like that. I'm like, oh no, 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 we're good. We, we survived this. Like, yay, let, let, let's keep on going. <laughs> so, so I'm so glad he, he, he agreed and listened and then we just kept on our way and so love that when that happens when you, you know, this, the experience is just a second of wow. And then you're back on with your life. So, okay. It's driving, driving, driving. Now we finally get off the highway and then we're on some side roads that are mountain, mountainy, meaning like super forests, super trees, pines, and whatever trees very close together on, you know, a, a side road starts winding through the forest setting and then it turns into another side road and then another side road and then that that is his driveway and he has a pretty good length driveway so it's dark like like dark um thick trees so it's like it's not like a like a moon dark where you can still see it was dark. Like it was so it was kind of fun. It was like this surprising feeling like 
you know, like, I don't know where I am, and I don't know what it looks like, and how fun is this going to be? It was just exciting like that. Um, so then we, we, we pull up, and he stops the car, and I could tell that off to my left was a building, a, a, a decently long building. And I think I saw, like, um, like a deck or, like, um, like a, a railing type, you know, something or other in the back of the house there or the structure and um and so he stops the car and he gets out and then and it's dark um I could kind of tell that you know that, that there's lots of trees over in front and to the side and and then behind and you know we're on a driveway and you know that sort of thing and so he and so I get out and right when I got out I heard a lady's voice coming from like in front of the car like Oh my gosh, I've been trying, like, I'm going to say, and, and, you know, trying to describe, like, feet, yards, whatever. Um, I'm going to say 30 yards or 20, 20, maybe 20 yards away. Um, I heard a woman say something, and it was like, is she talking over here or is she talking to someone else? And then, plus, I didn't know what was where we were. I mean, we could have been in a neighborhood for all I knew I I didn't know. So then he said, I'm going to go turn on the lights. And then I'm like, okay. And then, so now I'm kind of off by myself. Um, I'm off by myself by the car and, or, 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 okay. No. So he said, I'm going to go turn the lights. Okay. And I'm standing by the car and all of a sudden, like a little bit after he said that, um, maybe like, I don't know, 10 seconds or 15 seconds. I hear this, there's a, I all of a sudden hear a man standing behind the car, not far back from behind the car, maybe like five, ten feet, and, you know, in my mind's eye, it was like I could tell what he, I mean, it seemed like I was trying to figure out what he was doing. He did a whistle. He did like a whistle tune twice, and when he did it, he sort of did this little kind of running back and forth this way and one running back and forth that way it was like 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 something like that and I was like what is he doing like I, is he like super excited or something like what's up with that and then and then stillness again and I'm like okay so I went to go like look behind the car like what is he doing and there's no one there <laughs> I was like what the hell and then I look way off to my left and he's like way over, you know, way um, through the trees, like, God, like more than half a football field away in a building. Because now there's a light on in the building, like some shed or something. And I was like, what? What the? <laughs> so, so that was pretty interesting. Um, and so, you know, I did. I had experiences like right away, right when I got there. So the rest of the weekend was, you know, he has an amazing, amazing two-story cabin house, like dream house that would see, you'd see on like Architectural uh, Digest right on Lake Michigan. And um, it was just, it was fun. I'm glad I got to go. And, um, and, then, um, and then I tried to get out of there and I, <laughs> I mean, getting out, get the flight out, couldn't, stay the night in the hotel. Um, and then... The next day, um, oh, I met some people at a bar, like a local bar. That was fun. Got to learn some fun stuff about that area. You know, had got, you know, didn't get on the next flight. Had to take a uh, rental car to another airport. <laughs> didn't get on that flight. Uh, finally got on the next flight and got home. And, and, and like, it was the last person on the plane. Oh, my gosh. But while I was there um, waiting, I, I just, I did some exploring. And I saw some places that I would have never seen or know that they existed. You know, a neighborhood, really, really neat um, hike along this river. And so I got to see like the changes of the colors of the of the leaves up in, you know, up there. And then um, in another little, you know, another neighborhood um, was um, the beginning of, the lady was, was setting up all her Halloween um, decorations in her, really big front yard um and so I was kind of I stopped the car to, to check it out and um she I she said hey do you want me to show you around and I was like yeah that'd be great 
So I videoed and walked through her going over every, all the, you know, all, this one, and, you know, she'd turn it on, it would make some scary noise, and then, like, throughout the whole yard. So, so that was, that was really fun. Um, and, you know, so, you know, you end up getting to see some, um, some other things that you, you know, if you, if you happen to get, you know, stuck at, the, you know, at an airport for a while, you know, go explore. It's, it's super fun. So, anyways, that's another one of my interesting, uh, um, unusual stories that, um, that I wanted to share with you guys. So enjoy your day and look for my next videos. And you can find me on Facebook too if you want. Trisha Brown, T R I C I A B R O W N. And uh, connect with me and say hi. And uh, let me know if you know of any sacred land um, that has great um, energy on it that um, I might want to come visit. All right, bye.